Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the best available executor for the Windows version of Roblox. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the executor that I'm talking about is none other than the Vave executor. It did recently release and it's doing really well so far. It is the only working executor on the Windows version of Roblox. Now, if you are interested in purchasing it, of course, you can do that from my website. Head down over to the first link in the description, which will take you to this page over here. From there, you can choose the seven day key or the 30 day key, whichever one you're interested in. And of course, you can go ahead and purchase that. We do offer a variety of different payment methods as well. So make sure to check that out. Now, with that out of the way, let me go ahead and also show you how you can activate the key and start using the Vave Executor after you've purchased it. Now, once you purchase your Vave key, go ahead and head down to the second link in the description, which will take you to this page over here. From here, you can go ahead and download the Vave Executor. So once you load up Wave and you've created your account, head down over to this option right here. And this is where you'll be able to paste in your license key and you'll be able to activate it just like this. And that's pretty much all you have to do in terms of activating your executor. Now let's go ahead and jump into a game so I can show you the executor in action. All right, here we go. We just loaded into a game and I've gone ahead and pasted the script for Phantom Forces. Let's go ahead and click on execute and that should bring up the menu for us. And there we go. Just like that, we have executed the script and now we're pretty much ready to go. And there we go. As you can see, it's working flawlessly without any issues whatsoever. Go ahead and take him out there we go now if you do have any questions before purchasing wave of course you can head down into the description and join my discord server and you can ask me any questions that you might have over there now before ending the video i also want to go through some of the common error codes that you might get with wave and i also want to explain how you will be able to fix those so firstly if you are getting the error code 268 all you have to do is simply go ahead and join roblox first so go ahead and load into roblox and let the game fully load before you open wave so make sure you open roblox first and then go ahead and open wave and that should fix the issue the second error that a lot of players get is the non-zero exit code error and the way to fix that is simply come down over to the search box and go ahead and type in run and then go ahead and type in percent local app data percent and go ahead and open that up and from there go ahead and delete the block strap folder so completely right click it and delete it and do the same for the roblox folder over here and do the same for the wave folder over here so once you've deleted all three of these folders go ahead and close out of this Go back into the search box and search for control panel. Open that up, go into uninstall a program and over here, look for Roblox. If you do have Roblox in here, make sure you uninstall that as well. So simply right click it and then click on uninstall and remove Roblox from here. Once you've done that, go back into the search box and type in run one more time. And from here, go ahead and type in percent temp percent and go ahead and delete everything that you see within this folder by highlighting it and deleting it. If there's anything that can't be deleted, you can simply go ahead and skip that. So let's go ahead and skip this, for example, because these files cannot be deleted. And then go ahead and close out of that. And the last thing you need to do is join my Discord server and head down over to the bug fixes channel. From there, go ahead and download both of these programs. These are really important, so make sure you do this step. And once you've done that, simply go ahead and restart your computer and install Wave again by heading down to the Wave website and clicking download. And once it has finished installing, go ahead and open Blockstrap, which should install along with Wave. Head down into behavior, scroll down and go ahead and toggle on force Roblox reinstallation. Make sure this is toggled on and click on save. Now go ahead and load into a Roblox game and that should fix the non-zero exit error code and you should be good to go. Now with that being said, that is the end of the video guys. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and as always, thanks for watching.